Hello, my name is Patricia Mason, and I've been a member of St. George's Anglican Church in London, Ontario, since 2004 when we moved to this city. St. George's has been a great parish family over the years, and my husband and I have grown from being parents of young children to sometime empty nesters. They keep coming back. We've enjoyed many years of great preaching and ministry from Father Tim Connor, and now from Bishop Terry Dance, and we look forward to what lies ahead. I was asked to say a little bit about my faith. Mine is a fairly simple story. I was the daughter of an Anglican minister, and so I grew up always having a church to go to. I attended Sunday school, then youth group, and camp, and my sister and I always seemed to be in a choir. At some point, fairly early on, my own faith developed, and I came to understand and to believe the Christian message of God's love and forgiveness through Jesus and the ultimate hope that we have in that, in that love. That doesn't mean that I haven't had moments of doubt over the years. I actually remember a very early crisis of faith. I was 12 years old and was being confirmed with a group of friends, many of whom are still close to me today. Anyway, early in the week before Confirmation Sunday, I started to have doubts and to experience cold feet. I was and still am a worrier, and I worried that I should not be proceeding with this because obviously there was a problem here. I began to see the headline, Minister's Daughter Pulls Out of Confirmation, and I imagined the scandal. I had an active imagination and was a bit of a dramatic kid. I finally couldn't take it anymore, and on that Saturday night, I told my dad what I was thinking and feeling, and my dad sat me down and said to me, first, nobody goes through life without doubting big relief. He went on to say, think of this like waiting for a train. You know where the train is going, but you don't know exactly how it will get there. The question is, do you want to be on that train? That's what you're answering tomorrow. And that helped a lot. And of course, I went ahead and was happily confirmed the next day with all of my friends. It's funny how simple memories like that stick with you. Over the years, in my most cynical, skeptical moments of doubt, I think about that, and I still do want to be on that train. <laughs>